let's just chit chat for a while, okay? So, have you ever just woke up in the morning and was like, I'm gonna put full face of makeup on, I'm gonna straighten my hair, get dressed, look all cute, because you feel cute? Like, just one of those days, you're just like, I'm a boss ass bitch, right? But have you woken up and looked in the mirror and thought, wow, I'm disgusting. Everything about me is disgusting. I can't pick one thing that I like about myself. And you sit and you look in the mirror and the longer you sit, the more things that you pick out. So I can sit there and be like, okay, I don't like my eyebrows. I don't like my nose, it's too big. My lips are too small. My teeth aren't straight. My forehead's too big. My cheeks are puffy. And it just goes on and on and on. And it's self-destructing. But it's something that I do a lot of. Um, I spend a lot of my time in front of a mirror. Whether it's just sitting back at my vanity, standing in front of the zinc, just washing my hands. I think about all the stuff I hate. All the stuff that disgusts me. Even though I have people telling me every single day, whether it's in person, like random strangers, family, friends, or people on Facebook, Instagram, I get told I'm pretty, beautiful, cute, hot, gorgeous, sexy. Do I believe that? Sometimes. Not all the time. And I want to. I want to feel beautiful. I want to radiance of confidence just coming off of me and some days I'm like that like I said there's days where I feel like I'm a boss ass bitch and ain't nobody gonna bring me down then there's days where nothing can lift me up and I'm just curious I'm pretty sure other people have these days some more than others some more often than others some people might not even have them at all. Body dysmorphia? That's a hard thing to have. Because you're constantly thinking of your body. And that's what I do. And I see if I'm walking like into Walmart and they have the windows on the outside. I see my reflection. And I'm immediately appalled. And it ruins my trip. If I don't look in the reflection, which is so hard for me not to do, I can have a good time. But it's just a simple reflection in a window, a store mirror, anything like that can ruin my whole mood and it sucks because it just a switch like that you could be the feeling like a boss ass bitch see a reflection and it's you're disgusted you're appalled you don't even want to be out in public and then mentally you're thinking well so mentally you're thinking what are these strangers thinking about me? Are they thinking, wow, look at this big girl with these type of groceries in her cart? Or what are they saying behind my back? Or, oh wow, that girl shouldn't be wearing that kind of stuff for her size. Different things like that. I mean, most likely, 
<clears throat> people don't care. At least I don't. I see another woman and it doesn't matter what size they are. They can be a size double zero, size 28. I think they're hot, beautiful, gorgeous creatures. The problem is I don't see that in myself. Yes, it comes from people <clears throat> in my past that tore me down and it really messed with me a lot. Um, it took me quite a bit of time to get to even where I am at today because I was very shy to myself, very, very low self-esteem. I still have low self-esteem and people call me crazy for it and that's fine. Everybody has their own opinion on what they think is beautiful and all that. And me personally, I don't find myself that beautiful. Not looking for people to comment, oh my gosh, you're so gorgeous, blah, blah, blah. It's just how I feel mentally and emotionally and all that. It has nothing to do with other people's opinions. It's just the opinion of my own to myself. Um, those past problems being torn down so much didn't mess with me enough to where I just I tried anorexia I did bulimia I exercised like crazy that's all I focused on was that I needed to lose weight I needed to be a certain size I needed to look a certain way for someone to love me and that's not true the person that's meant to love you will love you no matter what size you are, no matter what body shape you are, no matter what improvements you have done to yourself, as in piercings, tattoos, hair color. They're going to love you no matter what. And I would love for every woman in the world to feel beautiful and like a goddess. And never lower her standards for anybody. And to never feel worthless, unattractive. I want women to believe that they are a queen. That they can accomplish anything and do anything. You can be a queen even without a king. And that's what I don't think women understand it took me quite a while to realize that and now that I have I'm going to make people run for their money because I'm coming out of my shell I mean people say my Facebook's gotten a little out of control as in I post a lot of powerful women stuff sexual stuff I'm an open book I don't care what people think of me anymore. I'm not going to be the sweet little girl that everybody thought of and scared to do anything, say anything. No. I'm me. I'm going to say whatever I want, whatever I feel, whenever I want and feel. And if you don't like it, look the other way. I've come too far to have anybody stop me anybody to control what I do, what I say, how I feel. No one can validate my feelings, my emotions. Only I can. And that's one thing that I've learned so far in this journey. I'm happy. I'm healthy. I just have to work on myself feeling beautiful and to make sure that no one else around me feels the way that I have felt. I want all girls to feel beautiful, gorgeous, stunning. I want them to rock their curves, rock whatever body type they have. You got abs, rock them. You got a little tummy, rock them. You got a little junk in the trunk, rock it. You got hip bones, collarbones, rock it. Rock whatever God gave you and be the queen that you're meant to be. It's just a little thought of the day for myself. 
little venting, a little side note, and a little video journal, we'll say. Have a good night, everybody. See y'all later.